All right, the Civic is coming together. I think this is, the, I say this now, but I think this is the last thing I need to put on the car. Uh, and then after this, then just start tweaking stuff. Uh, it's gonna go down to John and LHT to get the engine swap, the transmission done, uh, the test pipe, the tow to header, so the exhaust and all that stuff will be squared away. And then after that, it's going to Michael Good at the Dent Company to get the fenders you know, perfected, the fenders rolled, maybe uh, some adjustments to the fender liner. Uh, and then the hood, we're gonna get the hood uh, PPF raft, either PPF raft, PPF wrapped or um, painted and then adjusted and uh, double checking on all the dents and all of that stuff. Uh, but the car's coming together. Uh, oh, I have to do the S2000 steering wheel, that's right. I'm waiting on the airbag to come for that, so the cruise control and steering wheel. But today we're gonna put on some spoon mirrors. If you watch the video of me doing the old lick and stick, uh, you know, putting the mirrors on top of the mirrors, yeah, as you might imagine, that wasn't gonna fly with me for very long. Uh, it actually, you don't notice it unless you know what to look for. It actually, I get why they do it that way. It's so much simpler to do than trying to remove the mirror and then reinstall it. Uh, so what happens is they just basically just stick this mirror on top of the other factory mirror, which, you know, isn't great. And so these are Spoon uh, EK9, uh, carbon fiber mirrors, they have some bubble wrap residue, like little dots all over them, so we're gonna have to polish them. So we'll have to tape this off really well, so I'm gonna polish and coat them. Um, but theoretically, this should be a relatively simple install. Uh, there's actually an instruction kit here, let me grab that. So they provide us a little bit of weather stripping, some instructions. Gotta use my fancy uh, ARS Japanese scissors to open up my Japanese spoon parts bag. Sure that'll get me in trouble with a certain demographic of people. So not really any instructions. I mean this should, oh boy. I guess maybe they need some instructions on wiring it. But I wonder, we're gonna take the factory off and then hopefully there's some, some guidance of where weather stripping needs to go but um, we're gonna find out. And then these have the blue convex, yeah, convex mirror on this side, which gives you a little wider viewing angle. And then the other side looks convex, slightly convex as well. Okay, so let's take apart the uh, stock area and then let's see what we're working with. All right, so I already pulled this cover off, so for reference, I'm not 100% sure because this, see, this is the tweeter pod, but there's a clip here and then there's a little clip here that kind of holds it in place. Uh, and so I don't think we need to remove, I don't think you need to remove the door card at all. I'll show you on the other side when we take it off, but there are some eight millimeter bolts. One, two, three. I wonder if I'm gonna need to remove the door card. An extension. And a, see if I can get in here without having to. Let's just use a ratchet, ratcheting wrench. The key is going to be getting this off without dropping it in the door and having to take it all apart anyway. There we go. And that's a 10 mil. Let's pull off a plug. Oh, I see. Okay. Telling you, Honda Bros, I need to get one of these for my store. The old uh, skin wedge tool. Ooh, that'll do it. No, I won't be selling these mirrors, so don't get your hopes up. Not happening. So, got all this weather stripping on here. I'm gonna clean this all up in here. They're a lot smaller. I want to see what this looks like. Just don't see where they're suggesting we put weather stripping. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Anyway, let me clean this up first. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how this car is coming together. It's been a whole lot of work. And we haven't even done the big stuff yet. Dang, I almost wish when I polished I'd take the mirrors off. Man. 
I don't know what to do with this weather stripping business. So if you look at this, so here's, this whole thing is covered in weather stuff. This one is not. I was thinking, does this thing come off? Can I install it on here? Let's see. I think this might work. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna fit on here, but let's see. Nope. Nope, definitely not. Okay, well, at least we answered that. So that doesn't go on there. But where do we want weather stripping? Is it right here? Because you're not gonna be able to fit it here anywhere. Maybe it's just this spot. Yeah. I think that's the only spot that it's gonna go. I think we put it right on this lip right here. Okay. Let's do that. I think it's gonna be easier to polish this on the car, so hope I don't regret that decision. Scissors will definitely cut your fingers off if you're not careful. That looks like the appropriate place for it. Okay. Goes in place. Now, why is that not fitting right now? Let's see if our holes line up. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm ordering another one. Dang, it just had to hit exactly right to do that too. Man. If I didn't, do, if I would just grab the right screwdriver, how did that even come out of there? All right, broken mirror. We're gonna put it on and then I'll order another set and hopefully, hopefully he has another one. I'll call my new, my buddy Alex at Spoon and see if he has just one. Yeah, you know, we can always just do a little super glue. That's what, um, how much were these mirrors? That's what a thousand dollar mistake looks like there, Brycey boy. Exactly broke here. Right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's nice. Um, that's a that's, that's a, a that's a crack missing piece. A little, piece. little missing piece there. Yeah. Depends on how much you care. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, Civic just vaporizing money. Pretty much guaranteed to drop this in the door, aren't I? Oh shoot. No, 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 no. No, I will not let it go. Oh. Oh. Just freaking kill me now. God, is he gonna be bouncing around in the door forever? I don't really care how solid it is because I gotta replace it, but we wanna get the end result here. And I definitely want to hear all the all the comments we're gonna get on this one. 
I mean, I, I need to know how much was that darn mirror. Let me see. I think it was 600 bucks for the set. I hope it was 600. Oh, 882 bucks. God dang it. Oh, that stings. Oh. <sighs> Uh, yep, there's uh, $930. Get out of my way, camera. Ugh. Such a dumbo. Just, just take, just set me out to pasture. I'm just talking about how this is the last thing I gotta do. This is great. Only one more thing, this is awesome. I haven't had any hiccups at all. Just blow torch, 900 bucks. What a freaking disaster. <laughs> we gotta do the we gotta do the giveaway an extra three or four days now and I'm gonna coop that <laughs> 900 bucks. What a disaster. You know what you should do? Not drop it on the, uh, on the ground. No, I didn't put any screws in. I just sat there and I went to get a screwdriver and I'm fumbling around over there. If I would have just gotten this, I'm like, oh, let me try to find the eight millimeter and then all I hear is and Yeah, it slammed on the ground. It was sitting in there pretty tightly. Air the air conditioning kicked on and blew a little breeze and I just ordered the other set right now. Bryce, you want to buy those wheels now? Hey, I've been trying to buy those wheels, but you've been sleeping on me, Matt. I'm assuming this is going in. I'm only making like a, a quarter of a tenth of a turn. Well, I don't think it could get any worse, so. Well, it could, and then I won't be able to get it out. I don't do returns. Returns are for losers. What a freaking mess. Is it too late to like quit on this whole project? Mike and I looked at each other. We're like, did something break? Uh, yeah. I saw a black piece first. I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> All right, so now. <sighs> Sigh. Smart thing would have do would have been to just put the fast stock mirror back on and call it quits. That's gonna definitely slow me down. Shoot, I didn't think about it. I can't drive in the rain. I gotta glue that thing back on there. I need some kind of special tool to make this thing freaking work. Blue white goes to yellow. So blue white is the first hole. How in the world does that go in there? I don't just freaking cut this off and solder these together. Maybe you're supposed to cut it off. Yeah, I think that's it. And then you put the wire in here, crimp it down. Let's see what this thing looks like. Make sure I even want it. Yeah, it's fine. It's freaking stupid. So stupid. Where's the super glue? go. <laughs> oh, Maddie, how do I get myself into these messes? Let me just push it on there. <laughs> oh, I had it. <sighs> Don't mind me, people. I'm just, just making a temporary fix. Solutions to problems you didn't know you had. That's my motto, isn't it? What about solutions to problems that you create that would have never existed had you not been an idiot? <laughs> Just leave it like that. There we go. It's not going anywhere. I should just quit while I'm ahead. I'm sweating. Why am I sweating? We have air conditioning and a dehumidifier. Mm. 
going to shave a little bit of this off here, a little shavy poo. And <sighs> Who says I don't do any fabrication? Baby screwdriver handle and do a little, little knockaroo on there and there we go. I don't even know. Let's see if this super glue works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. That'll just keep it from running away on me. Now we'll get some blue towel attached to it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, boy. What the flip? That's good. That's good. Just don't get super glue anywhere else. Looks great. No, it was going to be this expensive of a day, but it is. And uh, here I am. Let's do the other side first. See if I can have a successful side to see if I'm quitting this, quitting this whole thing. Let's see if we can do this side a little better. I'll take these three screws off. Drop that in the car. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. No, I will not let it go. Oh. Oh. Just freaking kill me now. God, is he gonna be bouncing around the door forever? This is clearly not supposed to happen. These mirrors are doomed to fail. Almost dropped this one. Don't ask, don't tell. It's gone. It's gone. No one saw it. It's gonna be sitting right on the baffle of the speaker. Guaranteed. At least we got some entertainment value out of this one. We got something out of it. This will be part of the uh, Matt Mormon, how I ended up uh, living in a gutter somewhere. This will be part of the story of how I blew a thousand dollars on a set of mirrors for being stupid. That's the one thing that put me over the edge. Fall from grace. All started with a drop in a spoon mirror on the ground. Let's try this. So I think you're gonna wanna push this weather stripping as far back in as it will go. Let's take our screws. This time let's not drop it on the freaking ground. Fish our wire through. And just hold on to this wire for dear life. Whatever you do, don't let go. Just get it started. Shoot. I think, it's, I think it grabbed. Okay, good. Now, let's try to get the top one in. Okay. Now, on this side, we go Blue to blue, black, yellow to blue, white. I don't know, this is the right side. Blue to yellow, black. I'm gonna cut this off. Blue to yellow, black. Okay, there's yellow, black. Yellow to green, white. And white to yellow, red. Why don't I just snip these wires off? I'll tuck them in here, crimp them. 
see what happens. So we'll leave this connector in here and we'll just cut. That way it can be spliced back together. So I'm going to cut the yellow, black, green, white, and yellow, red. I wanted to leave enough room here so I could reattach the Molex plug someday, or somebody can. It's been way easier to just take the darn door card off. Way easier and way smarter. Okay, there's our yellow black. Here's our green white. And so then we're just gonna do some good old fashioned butt connectors. Dang it! I should take the frickin' door card off. And the problem is there are two more colors. So who the heck knows? So let's see what happens. I'll be taking these mirrors off, calling ICB and telling them forget it. <laughs> yeah! Finally, something good. Heck yeah. All right, let's button this thing up. We got some good news, people. So now, let's see how we're gonna clean this up here. What I'd like to do is tuck that. And tuck that right behind there. You won't see anything, it looks nice and clean. This guy back in place. Oh shoot. <laughs> Dang it. I just broke it. Oh my gosh, you moron. Eh, it's not going anywhere. Okay, we're okay. Just pretend like that didn't happen. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be fine, but the clip broke off. Must have been hanging by a thread anyway. Where's my super glue? This super glue will never work on this. Probably going to break right back off. It's funny, I never even said this would be a short project. Normally I have to say this is going to be a really easy short project for it to turn into a disaster like this. Boom. Don't breathe. All right, bros. So we're not going to wire up the other side because that one is janked in there for now. But we've got to polish this mirror. Okay, see all these little bubble marks? I'm gonna go a little bit of one inch pad, the PXC80. I don't like this thing with the one inch. Yeah, this is freaking terrible. Okay. That's a little better. So this is why you still need the Nano, I think. I like having the Nano and the PXC80.
Let's see what we got. That'll do it. Let's just finish it. Wow, looks good. There's all those little bubble wrap, little stains came right out. We'll still look to the next perfect finish. White pad is fine. That ought to be sufficient. some CSL XO on this. At least we got one side working. You should never polish with your windows open. It's a tip from you to me. Me to you. <laughs> should be from you to me. I shouldn't listen to anything these today after this disaster. Tell me I don't have it. God damn. We'll just do an XO on it. A couple of coats of XO, call it a day. Should put gloves on. I'm all ready to jump off the roof anyway, so whatever. I'll put this right on the glass as well. So I learned another lesson here this week and that you should never buy spoon parts from an unauthorized dealer. You know, so I bought my spoon wheels from Nengen in Japan and they're like a black market dealer. You're not supposed to buy from them, which I had no idea. So all your warranty claims and all that stuff won't, won't count. So don't frickin' buy your stuff from Japan, from Nengen, and then expect to call the U.S distributor because the US distributor just buys the product from spoon you know and then they have to make a profit they have to make a living and so what happens to them all the time I didn't realize this is that people buy parts from unauthorized dealers and then they obviously then they call them up when they have a you know, need help with install and all that no I didn't go there but don't do that and don't break your mirror and then call them up and say, hey, uh, hey, my mirror's broken. <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a little Honda boy move. Don't be a little Honda boy, a little Honda bro. Own up to your own mistakes like I just did. A prudent man would not put that on camera and would certainly not publish it on YouTube, but I'm not very prudent. Wow, that looks sharp. Weaves match. The mirrors are a lot nicer finished than the uh, than the hood is. Just do a immediate second coat. This probably won't do anything, but race ready. How much weight do we lose? A lot of weight. What do you think? Six, eight, ten, twelve pounds or zero. Gained all the weight of those butt connectors, so should have soldered them. And yeah, I'm lazy here. I'm using the same towel I used to remove the polish, but I just flipped it around. It'll be okay. Just a small little area. I like it. I think it looks good. Mirror's a little thinner and not as bulky. Let's see how my super glue job's doing over here. Oh yeah, that's spicy right there. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. Well, there'll be some mirrors for sale on the cheap. For those of you guys who like, uh, like to do a DIY jank project, we'll just, just do a tuckaroo on this one and let's sit here for a little while. Well, uh, this is like real haunted, but I'm gonna drive around like this. Just 
kind of have some wires hanging out. You don't need that. You don't need that A-pillar finished off. Oh yeah, it looks good. So there you go. Spoon mirror-ish. Yeah. That's, uh, that's how we do it here in um, Good Enough Garage. I love that gap that it gives you, but... It's good. At least one of them works. Catch you on the next one. As always, stay tuned for more janky. That's the way I do it. See you soon. Maybe we'll do a video when I actually finish it. Maybe not. I may have uh, jumped off the roof by then. So, see you later.